Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at, first one of 2018. This is build 17074 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. Um, there's an issue with AMD processors as well, so I think this is only for the Intel versions. And I wonder if that relates to the meltdown fix that um, is causing issues with uh, AMD processors. I'm not sure, but it could be. Right, okay, so what's new in this build? Not a massive amount of changes, but lots of minor little things that uh, will improve the life of Windows uh, users. So they've changed localization on this build. So let's go to localization and take a look. So you can now find your language pack, um, lam local experience pack, through the Windows Store uh, and the region language section of the settings app. So that should make it a uh, bit easier to discover the languages that you want to install. This means that um, they can push out languages through the Windows Store, making it easier and um, to push out updates and easier for um, Windows users to find the updates. Other changes with this build um, include imp lots of improvements to Microsoft Edge. So they've revamped the hub view. Other changes with this build include changes to Microsoft Edge, including a new hub. So you've got this um, so you need to click on that now rather than being in separate sections where you were tabbed across the top they're now tabbed down this left hand side um, so making it I guess easier to find what you need and uh, and, to, and to see the bits you you want to do another thing uh, that they've added as well is autofill cards for payment forms so that it will uh, prompt you if you want to save your payment data and it'll stay with you stay with your Microsoft account so, bit similar to how the auto complete works um, that they've added that there's a new Microsoft say a new experience for reading EPUBs and PDFs in uh, Microsoft Edge so uh, here we're looking at um, an EPUB book so they've got this fluid design um, on EPUBs, you see the way that the pages go across like that. Um, yep, so nice little change. There's improved grammar uh, options as well in uh, in Reading View and in EPUB View. So here's the new menu, and there you can see grammar tools, and I can get those from the from the store. There's also this nice full screen view as well. A couple of other things, changes when you start a new tab, you'll automatically see the um, ta the, the favourites bar showing. Uh, I think I need to work on when I've got my favourites bar to, to show that. Uh, so that's just there. I remember seeing that on the previous build, actually, but they say that's new uh, for this. Uh, a couple of other things with autofills on the edge. Um, you've got the options of never saving passwords for certain domains. You can autofill passwords when you're in private mode, and you can use extensions. Uh, in private mode as well. Okay, um, oh, another thing as well, it supports uh, CSS variable fonts as well, open type. What's changed in the Windows experience, the Windows shell? Well, Quiet Hours has got some uh, improvements. So, Quiet Hours, where, and uh, that's not something I use a lot on my. Uh, laptop I use it all the time on my phone so that I can say between these hours don't disturb me and use it on my phone so I don't get pings from Facebook all during the night so it's about uh, quiet hours settings and with this build you can uh, choose three times when you don't want to be bothered with quiet uh, hours automatic rule, rules so I can set the automatic rules so between 11 p.m. 7 a.m. I don't get disturbed but I can also say uh, when I'm duplicating my display so you're perhaps doing a projector, you're open projecting in a meeting, you don't want that, well, that's a really good idea. And when I'm playing games, which also seems a good idea, and uh, you can also, if you set up um, a home rules, you can do Cortana, you can have that uh, uh, stop coming up on there as well. You can have, you can set priorities, this is what I do on my phone, so you can say only um, selected notifications can go through so VIP, VoIP calls, um, incoming text from a linked phone, so on. So you've got contacts. I do that. I make sure that certain people that can contact me anytime uh, and others like spam calls don't get through during quiet hours. So I think that's a, a good idea. Okay, what else have we got? Folders. Um, they say they're making foldables, folders more discoverable with this version. 
So now you can choose your, you can personalize the folders that appear appear on here, and um, yeah, there's the easy option to make it. There's the easy option there. You can just right click and choose personalize this list. Um, other things that have changed, I'm not going to show you right now, but the near share improvements. This is where you can share from near share there from one machine to another local machine. Um, they've improved the reliability of that one. Uh, final wrap up then. So they've made some improvements in the storage settings. They've made some improvements uh, in the sound settings. So made some improvements there. Another change they've made is an embedded input panel. It's not showing up on my machine at the moment it's because I've probably not got my pen uh, handy but um, an embedded box will come up there for you search rather than the the main box at the bottom so it'll all come a little embedded box will come up on here um, and there's improvements to the handwriting recognition engine on uh, overall there's improvements to the some of the XAML uh, some of the way that the fluent design works and there's updates to the camera app there's a lot of other um, fixes including fixes for the meltdown vulnerabilities the intel spectre meltdown vulnerabilities that's actually built into this um into this build as well as it was in the previous builds i believe there's um a big list of uh, other changes and there's plenty of known issues so i would go and have a look on the blog post on the digitalized.com where i've got all the details thanks for watching this one and we'll look forward to the next build